Hi, and welcome to a new video. Is Battlefield 2042 any good? In short, yes. But if you want more detail, continue watching. Battlefield 2042 came out nearly one year ago, and it was a fucking mess. No voice chat, no scoreboard, a broken pinging system where you can only see your ping making it literally useless, terrible net code that made sniping a distant dream, game breaking glitches and bugs, an FPS range of 20 to 42 FPS on most machines, basically unplayable connection stability that would kick you after 3 minutes of gameplay and sometimes the game just wouldn't even start. Basically 2042 came out as a fast steaming pile of dookie. But what about now? Well first off, we finally have features that have been a part of Battlefield since the early 2010s. We now have voice chat, scoreboards, the ping mechanic actually works, your bullets hit most of the time, most of the game breaking bugs have been fixed, you can play a full match without being disconnected, and the game actually launches. So basically, we're at game launch levels of playability. Great, but not great, because there are still problems. Mostly with weapon balancing, but also more core problems. For one, the game still runs like shit. My friend played the beta on an R3-1200 and an RX-580, and it ran good enough for him to play at least. Obviously, the game would be more optimized upon release, we told ourselves. Well, no. No, it was not. The game ran worse. My friend couldn't even play a basic match of squad v squad at more than 25 FPS. The name Battlefield 20 to 42 FPS was not a misnomer. Today it isn't much better. He still can't play the game without dips into the teens. Luckily for him, I was upgrading my CPU from a Ryzen 7 1700 to a Ryzen 5 5600X, so I let him have my old CPU, and now he can get 60 FPS gameplay. At medium. <laughs> Other than poor optimization, the game also suffers from bad balancing. Some weapons are just playing better, and unlike many battlefields before it, 2042 unlocks weapons with a player level system and not a weapon or class leveling system. So if I, a recon player, want a one shot sniper rifle, I will have to get to level fucking 60 before I can. Like what? Why? But EA decided to just nix classes anyway and let everyone use whatever the fuck they wanted and replace it with specialists. In my opinion, the introduction of specialists only made the game less balanced and worse. Now anyone can hold a med kit which nullifies most snipers because they aren't level 60 yet. If you get hit, just heal yourself behind a rock and keep on doing that until you get to where you're trying to go. It's literally stupid. Then you have weapons like the S4 that melts people. I honestly feel unfair using that weapon. Imagine a game where a player can see through walls and smokes and they have an assault rifle that can kill you in three shots and they can hold like six smoke grenades between their underbarrel grenade launcher, normal smoke grenades, and a normal grenade launcher. It's ridiculous. They also made uh, the vehicles way too beefy. There is no reason a helicopter should take more than two well-placed rockets to down. They're basically flying takes in this game and it's annoying. And most tanks take more rockets to kill than you even have on your character. Only reason I can destroy tanks is because I usually have a rocket, grenades, and a grenade launcher on me. Also, the armor piercing rounds literally do nothing. I thought they would do like one damage per shot to vehicles, but they literally don't do anything new. So why even have them in the game? But besides all these obvious issues, the game is better now. If you're not a recon or an anti-tank player, you'll probably have a good time playing 2042. Personally, I've enjoyed it despite all the issues, but I'm still upset that I can't play my main class I enjoy until I'm level 60. So, is Battlefield 2042 any good now? Yeah, it is, but it's a long way before it's on par with the other games in the franchise.